What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. You got Harris, you got Justin. It is now time for the penultimate episode, episode 15 of 2521. Yep, that's right, and uh, we're going to be watching both these episodes together. So as you can see from my whiteboard, please do not insult this little guy right here. My RT skills are not very good. Scales 0 to 5, they're probably a negative 1, but there's supposed to be a crying face. <laughs> so uh, just that aside, like it says, not like this, because the way we ended last episode, figuring out that... Yi Jin was congratulating Hido on her marriage in 09. Um, so she did get married to another person. Mm -hmm. And what happened to lead to the situation, right? Like, how did they grow up, drift apart? And, like, I mean, last episode in general felt like the beginning of the end, right? With Urim, which is what it was about. The whole Urim scenario where he had to actually make up the story and, or not, not make up the story, basically leak that she's going to Russia just straight up. First, because that's kind of like how uh, the new I mean, media thing is first. Yeah. Like, it's his job, right? First person to like say something, ah, you know, all the views are going to go towards you. But the fact they had to do that to a friend, especially, is just uh, not, it's, it's, it's stinging, right? So, like, definitely the relationship between him and Hito is going to, like, this is the beginning of the actual end, I think. Yeah, and it was unfortunate too because he couldn't even go say bye to Yurim. He he has mm -hmm. known her the longest out of all of them, right? He's known her since That's she right. was a kid, and he couldn't even look her in the face because he was feeling so bad about it. Like um, we joked last episode, like this is the type of stress that gives you ulcers. Like he he is really going through it, but I mean it's part of the job, unfortunately. And like you said, now we're gonna see how him and he don't navigate this kind of first. I would say obstacle in their uh, in their official or relationship because they've already had obstacles in their relationships in general but this was like their first relationship obstacle so yep. we'll see where that goes um and i guess the last thing we'll mention before we start is uh, we had a new entry into a new list in the last episode for people <laughs> who uh -huh. uh, heard that so he, he is the first who will be the next person to go i won't leak for the people who didn't see the last one but if you know you know and we'll mm -hmm. see if uh, anybody else makes that list uh but we got to find out what these rest of these episodes that's right we have to see what happens in this one and then leading up to the finale but if you have been enjoying the ride 25 21 please be sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to see the full episodes with us check out the patreon in the description uh, down below you can see the full episodes as well as shows and movies that have not made it to youtube yet so check it out if you want Otherwise, let's get right into this episode 15. I think she gave him the okay. Yeah, Yurim gets it. Wow. I mean, it's, yeah, it's part of his job. She understands. Yo, she grew up in episode 14. Like, ridiculous. She... Wow. It's just impressive. No, honestly, yeah, she is very impressive. She wanted the story mm. to come out that way so that it would hurt she, her the most. Yeah. yeah. She wants to take the full blunt force of it. Yeah, Hido gets it. She knows that. I mean,. I think she's understanding now. He obviously didn't want to do this, but it just so happened to be part of the gig. And so all you could do for somebody sometimes, I right? just try to comfort them. Yeah. Oh, wow. She gets it now, too. It's just like... Yeah. It was just frustration, and obviously, like, he, he just needed somebody to say, like, it's not your fault at this point, and basically what Hido's doing here. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, his pain, his happy up. W. Literally, that's why she's my favorite K drama character. She's always there to give him a smile. Always there. Man, what the fuck happened? 
So he transferred. Oh, good. They can email. Yes. Okay. Uh... Yeah, she got a big place to herself. Oh. Damn, she got stood up. Oh, okay. Oh. I was getting watermelon flashbacks. Forty minutes late. Ah, uh, their schedules. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's fine. You, you can hang out without the movie. <laughs> oh, she got tickets for the next one. <laughs> hey, smart girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> Hey, you make it work, right? You just yeah. try to make it work. Oh, she's showing off the boy! <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Good bad. Good bad. W couple. Oh, a year had passed? Oh. Is New Year's Eve already? So we're going to 2001? Oh, is he done? He can go. Yeah, get moving, buddy. Get out of there. Oh, does, where's Eugene taking her? He has a spot. I was Secret like, does spot. he have a spot? Damn, they were a cute couple, man. That... That sucks. What the fuck that sucks. <laughs> to be with him. A couple, what is that? Oh, like a cell phone plan. I see, I see. Oh, she made it. she's in college. Okay. Okay, Sungwon. Even though she had to take a year off, right? Still figured. But what's our boy Damn, doing? Damn, bro! Is he a boy? What, what is this for? He's modeling? Oh, he's trying to be an entrepreneur? I see you, buddy! The hustle. Oh, he's trying to do like Instagram before Instagram! <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Damn, life of a beat reporter, basically. Oh, this is where Yijin had to go? This accident right here? Yeah, the tough part, I guess, of yeah. doing the news, right? Just seeing all the tragedy and then you having to report it. A lot of empathy from these two. I get what I mean he's been a really good mentor to Eugene honestly he's just telling to him in straight like yeah. if you can't handle this and you're just gonna drink yourself to this oh she's in the back does he even know she's there <laughs> he didn't even know she was there what, what the <laughs> Look at the drunk him. Uh oh, let's go. Bam. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, basically, just uh, live each day like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, she. That's why she knew she didn't want to disturb him. Yeah, both of them supporting each other and understanding, like, hey, the careers are important and just wanting the best for each other. This is like what you want couples to be like. And then you're gonna tell me this doesn't last. You're gonna tell me this doesn't last. Like, like this is just a beautiful moment. And like, I what, I can't, I can't not believe this didn't last. Or was she trying to distance herself so that she she could beat her? Oh, she said something out of pocket. Oh, the same interview they're talking about online. <laughs> no, she's not joking. Yeah, she matured. I mean, it's just part of her getting... Yep. Honestly, I've been noticing too, she just kind of looks older to me. Like, I don't... I don't know if that's the effect of, like, the show, or... Maybe it's because I see she's getting older too. Okay, we're getting one more match between them, one more hype. Good. I want to see it, even though we know what happens, but I just want to see it. True. It's going to be close. Oh, she doesn't want to see her. She hasn't been responding, yeah. I know, I just think she wants to get in the zone. True, that's also true. I gotta beat her first. Yes, they, I respect this. Like, we're, we're competing. Like, this is literally for the country. Like what, like, what are we doing? Like, we're friends, but we could talk after. No, oh, that's right. That's, that's right. right. Yes. Oh, wait. She got that one. Damn. Okay. Look, I like both of them, so I know. But but he knows he knows our girl. Like, come on. That's right. That's that. Oh, that's they... why. Because yeah. she was afraid. Like, yeah. Okay, that's why she didn't respond. Because they twisted her words. Yeah, this match is more than just a match, right? There's just so much behind this. Yeah, all of this. All this weight that they're feeling. Fuck, I actually feel for you a lot right now. I, 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 I am 100%. getting a little bit conflicted. Damn it. Oh, simultaneous! Wow. Okay. Oh shit! A bunch of we're gonna do a bunch of how many did we do? Three? This is going back to like the documentary. Good callback, honestly. Except now they're going at full speed this instead is like of half legit. speed. <laughs> yeah. One more. Yes. One point. Yes. How's she gonna deliver this? Nah, you don't got the. Oh wait. wait. Ooh. Bang. Oh. Okay. Okay. Bang. That's how we won yes. our first gold, baby! Or second. Point. Let me see it! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> now hug your best friend. Yeah, they're no. crying. Yeah. Damn. Like they were giving it their all, right? Obviously, but like they they didn't want to go up against each yeah, other. No. But like they.
did this relationship not last either? Like, what? Why? <laughs> and I like this too. Like in the mm -hmm. beginning, when Yurim says, "You don't know how hard, like what I've been through," right? And she, Hido was saying the same thing. But now they have the shared experience, what they were going through, each that they can share with each other. <laughs> Oh, Tom damn, this show is man. awesome, man. They're all crying, too. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, you, you rimmed it great, but like in the end, Hido was just a little bit better. Oh, the mom knows. Yeah, she... <laughs> She knows. Oh, is she watching this, Mincha? Oh, even oh. the uh, crying 20 years later. P proud of her mom. Yep. Surpassing borders. Yes, that's all I'm saying. It's just like trying to. That's what really matters. Like, they're friends at the end of the day, right? Oh, the tunnel. The same tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah, it didn't last. <laughs> That's true, she giving <laughs> Yijin more leeway. I wonder if that's the sign. Yijin's not gonna get any better with this. I think this is gonna be a recurring. See the sorry, the sorry, the sorry. Look, another one, a sorry, sorry. Eventually, sorry becomes like not good enough. It's like I, I just need you here. I don't need sorry. Oh, he showed up. <laughs> Try to save yourself, buddy. Try to save yourself. And they got the matching suitcases. Yep. Oh. Yep, yep, he's not here. Oh, fuck. Like, I understand Hido's frustration. You can't have a relationship like this. You just, you can't. Okay, I'm good. This is kind of understandable this... why he's late. Oh. I. Yes. But I also understand why she's upset too. Like, yeah. this is another sorry. And sorry, again. Oh no. That's yeah, probably the last straw. Interview? Go jump! I mean, I'm not gonna be mad at that guy no. for doing what he did. Like, this was a just no, that was a, it thing. was a, a horrible time. And like you said, he wanted to take on the empathy, right? He's he's gonna take all of this in. Like, I don't even know how you feel just by seeing all this, like... I think... Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, is he okay? Oh wow, he's gonna be there a month. I think they're just drifting apart now. Yeah. It's kind of like their lives are taking them in different directions, unfortunately, which is a part of life. Damn, so this is how they've been connecting the last month. Oh. 
I mean, the show is called 2521. She's 21 right now, so I, I'm guessing it's gonna end very soon. The relationship. He is not okay. No. And this is why, like, his mentor slash supervisor was telling him to, you gotta separate yourself, otherwise, like, it's gonna, gonna take a toll up. on you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because nobody should have to feel these things, right? Nobody don't want to feel these things. And he's not like smiling when they're being together, right? So No. Oh, he's back? Uh, oh, oh, no. What? What? He didn't tell her. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is definitely what did it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, this wasn't cool by Eugene. Like, I was, like, whatever had happened up until this point is, like, things you can't control, right? Like, but... If you are gonna make this big decision and if you care about her this much. Should have consulted with her yes. first. Yes. She doesn't even know what to say. She doesn't know what to say. Yeah. She. That's what did it. That's 100% what broke the, the final straw, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, from where we were at the beginning. Well, I mean, this is technically not at the same time. This is like 12 hours later, right? With Yijin, yeah. so... <laughs> no, one and done. One and done. Yeah. Okay. What? Man, that was like a legit movie. No, Just, seriously. It was like, like this the one of the saddest movies I've ever watched. I mean, we saw this coming unfortunately and yeah. um so <sighs> I, I'm okay. I don't want to like put a whole broad brush on this, but like, like this is kind of one of the reasons I I'm not a big proponent of long distance relationships just cuz end up in situations like this a lot of the time just when you're That's not true. together with somebody especially when you're literally not even in across the country across the world, the world like like it's it's just hard to connect and just like Hido said I'm not reaching him anymore I mean it's that's not your fault it's just hard especially in a world where you can only talk over the phone right there's no snapchat or like video no, at that time streaming, there's no like, right yeah things where you no, can like, see Discord somebody's face see some, yeah, yeah exactly only talking through the phone, so it's just hard to convey convey your feelings. Even even with these things now in this world, it's not the same as being there with somebody important no. person. So, I uh, like that. It's just unfortunate that, like, obviously, we know that terrible day happened, which caused Eugene to have to go to New York, and then that kind of just made their relationship drift apart because uh, it was already kind of, you know, I would say. It was like not in a bad place, but it started to get in a murky place because of the conversation like her mom had right before. Yeah. This was like, hey, like, uh, this is going to happen. And obviously you're busy too. It's not like Hido wasn't busy, right? They just, they have their own lives. And right. it's hard to make time for each other. And are you okay with that? And like, Hido thought she was. Like everybody at the time, just like when you hear that, you could be like, oh yeah, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah. then you realize... When that person is not with you, like, this is not what I want, right? And At some point, like, you'll, you will have that um, inner monologue with yourself. Being like, is this the right decision? Like, wh what's the point of a relationship if I can't see the person? All right? Because a relationship should be, like, physical. Like, you should be there with your partner, significant other. But... This isn't this isn't working, right? Because we we're, he's being late for all these things because of work. It's everything is getting caught up, and then all of a sudden this this you know this thing happened, and yeah. uh, you know that now that that was like the final final straw in a sense. Which yeah, I mean, I... it's it, to be fair, like look, this is okay, like one of those like 
maybe I want to say very strong predicaments, right? Or like something completely out there. Because, you know, you fell in love with the, with the reporter. A big worldwide event like 9-11 happens. And he's like suddenly called into that. And all of a sudden, like, you could just see, like, his... Because he, he's a very, like, empathic person. And obviously we had the talk with, like, you know, this is the, one of the reasons why you had to be numb with it. But uh, you could just see him just, like, crumble as soon as, soon as like, time will tell. Because just of how, like, the magnitude of the, that event, how it changed people. Yeah, he, he became depressed, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then we saw, like, the effect it had on him. And then it, like... It got it's to the point where, you know, you're talking with your girl and your girl's just trying to be there for you, but she's not like physically there. And then whatever she says is just going in through one ear and out the other ear. Yeah, like literally. And it's, it was kind of just sad to see that all play out. And honestly, that is just life sometimes, unfortunately. I didn't like, expect that to be the reason. Yeah. Man. Like sometimes you guys drift apart, sometimes one person falls out of it with the other and then you just don't connect anymore hmm. and then like i i don't remember i said when we were watching that oh like it's not cool that ejin didn't tell her which to be fair it's not but it's not uh, no but he was that, depressed. that's definitely like, he was, yeah he's sad so I'm, I'm not gonna like say it's like oh it was your fault the relationship did not work out like i don't i at first that's kind of where i was going but i thought about it a little bit I was like that's probably a little bit too harsh because uh, like obviously he's in this situation where this event is like he said it's like a, it's hell basically like he's yeah. seeing all these families get destroyed getting like everything just thrown in his face like those papers we saw just get piled up of the missing people like that nobody can take that on by themselves no and he's in a new country as well right it's not even yeah. like he's at a home just by himself in a new place and like he he was already I guess he probably just felt like I need to stay here, but uh, he should have definitely consulted her. And I, it was kind of, I guess, the parallel, just like he kept saying sorry to her, kind of like how that almost doesn't mean anything anymore. And just like she kept saying, hang in there, how like you were saying, that's just basically didn't mean the same thing to him anymore. And those right. were like their two words that just at the end of the day did not have that, that same meaning, obviously for different reasons. But yeah, I guess... Uh, the next episode will probably be the breakup, yep. and I'm I'm guessing he he gets this job right because he we find out he applied. I'm gonna guess he gets it, and then that's where they just lose contact. Yep, that's like, where they just say, "Yep, we're done." Yeah, and then the next the next thing happens, right? You know, she yeah. finds somebody else, gets married, and then has the daughter. We go back to the we go we go to the present. Yeah. So I wonder if they meet in the present. I guess we'll find out. Uh, what they decide to do in the next episode. But yeah, like you said, very, very sad. Um, well, was not the whole episode, though. We did get uh, a good uh, U-Rim portion. Uh, kind of like the final battle that kind of built up to this moment, right? I would say this is like when they were real rivals. Like, right. Because uh, like the first time they met, I don't think U-Rim still didn't respect her, obviously, right? Um, had this like resentment towards her. But then like they have, they did not face each other after that moment officially until Madrid which I would say that's like that was their real rival moment and right. I'm glad we got that match um because like like they were saying it wasn't just like a match for like for gold there was so much more behind it right like all of Korea basically saying that Urim is a traitor so Urim had that pressure and then Hido yep. had the similar pressure because she's trying to because it's like if she lost then she becomes a traitor yep and then if she also beats her people are gonna shit talk Urim also so it's like yeah. like Hido said at the end only us two understand what we've been going through to get to this moment right like all the things yep. that were being said everything that got twisted with the reporters being afraid to say stuff so and that's a, that's a good shared experience they could have had together and that hug was a very nice moment, just like them coming it together was. and being like, I, I know what you've been going through the last eight months, and I'm sorry, and I'm sorry too. So yep. it's I'm glad that that, that relationship uh, was probably also one of my favorites, kind of like how it played out in the end. So I, I really liked the way they did that. And uh, that I'm going to miss the fencing, because I don't think we're going to get any fencing in the last I don't episode. think so either, yeah. Um, those have always been great, always got hyped. Like I said, I was a little bit disappointed we knew who won, because it did take True. a little bit out of my uh, attention, but uh, still hype nonetheless. And uh, yeah, one episode left. 
We'll see how everything concludes. As you could tell, we <laughs> were a little bit sad for a multitude of reasons. <sighs> the show ended, ended the way that I did it, but yeah. yeah, we'll see what they do. That's going to do it for us. Let us know in the comments what you all thought. Don't forget to drop that like down below. And like Harris mentioned in the beginning, we do have a Patreon where you can find our full-length reaction to this, other shows, movies, polls, a bunch of other stuff. You just check out that link down below. Yeah, anything you want to wrap up? Nope, that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching 2521 with us. Uh, be sure you leave a like, subscribe, join the Patreon, and we'll see you all for the finale. Peace.